everybody. I actually just realized that I haven't done an intro, so welcome to day four. Man, is it day four? I think it's day four. Of um, this hydraulic press build. We've run into a little bit of an issue. This is the bolt that I was using to sort of resize. I don't have a whole one here, but these things, these are the uh, inserts, the threaded inserts. But as you might notice, this bolt seems a little bit weird. Yeah, it's a bit shorter. It's because the rest of it is uh, is in there. I've already welded in one of the threaded inserts. I wanted to make sure that it still fits, so I stuck the bolt in, and yeah, it fit all right, but what I didn't realize was the only reason why I was fitting was because it was hot, and now that it's cooled down, it's not fitting, so I tried to pull it out. I tried heating it up with the um, blowtorch, that didn't work, uh, then I snapped it. So I tried to then, um, I tried putting a slot in the back and that didn't work. So right now I'm drilling out through the back side um, with gradually getting larger drill bits. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get this back out. Otherwise, I don't know, I guess I'll drill it all the way out and start again. I really don't want to have to do that though. It's taken quite a lot of time. Well, this is, it's getting there. So here we have, uh, this is gonna be the ram. So we have our three pieces. This is approximately where the uh, jack is gonna be pressing against. It's still hot. I've gotten to the point where it's, uh, it's starting to get a little bit late in the night. So I'm gonna have to call it quits here. Tomorrow I should be able to Weld on these three, well, cut off the excess, weld on these um, ends, well, cut off the excess of the ends as well, I guess, um, and just weld them all up, make sure everything's nice and happy and ground down, make sure that I try and get rid of as much of this ugliness as possible, and then flip these over, because on the other side, we also have quite a bit of ugliness, and we want that to be pretty well flat, like, 100% flat. Um, the flatter the better because it means that whatever dies we end up putting on there. 
or if we just you know put put something in there that needs to be sort of crushed the flatter it is the more likely you're gonna get a good crush I guess something that I've been doing when I've been grinding these down is um, I've been taking the threaded rod I've been taking this uh, 3 8 threaded rod it's a pretty long piece um, and I've just been using it to re-thread the insides because as you're welding you get slag and stuff that falls into the uh, threaded insert and it will sort of weld in there and you really don't want that you you want it to be as clean as possible and it's best to sort of clean it whilst it's still kind of hot but don't let it you know don't clean it too much because um, as it cools down you'll end up losing your threaded rod but after it cools down check to make sure that the threaded rod still fits uh, and if my last piece of advice is try to uh, weld like small bits at a time I've, I found that that's probably like the easiest way of doing it because you weld a lot at a time and you end up messing it up I think that's pretty well it for today um, catch you guys tomorrow hope you are having, having a good day what was your day? let me know in the comments let me know how your day's going anyway stay safe happy crafting and as always cheers